Hi everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, we are going to discussing about uh, the problems related to average speed. In the last session, we already discussed a uh, few problems related to averages. Uh, now in this session, we are going to discussing about the problems related to average speed concept. Uh, here the first question given in this session is, uh, <coughs> a man goes to a certain place at a speed of 30 km per hour and returns to original place uh, at a speed of 20 km per hour. Here initially a man goes to certain place. Uh, let us take uh, this is the point where he starts uh, and uh, he, that particular person goes to another place that is let us take this is A and this is B. Initially that particular man goes to A to B right while going from A to B the speed is 30 km per hour. The speed is 30 km per hour and returns to original place. From here onwards, returns to original place means from where he starts. Here from B to A. The speed is given as 20 km per hour. Now the question what he is asking is find the average speed during up and down journey. Here we need to find the average speed during up and down journey. Here average speed basically depends on two conditions. Average speed basically depends on how many conditions? Uh, two conditions. I already explained the concept of average speed uh, in the introduction concept. Uh, if anyone is not uh, going through that video, you just go through that video, right? Here, if, if at all, average speed in this case uh, both the cases uh, bo in both the cases the distances are equal initially from a to b after that b to a the distances are equal in case the distances are equal then average speed is equal to 2 s1 s2 by s1 plus s2 i already explained how we are getting uh, this particular formula in that introduction video right here average speed is equal to 2 s1 s2 by s1 plus s2 if there are two equal distances initially from a to b after that b to a a to b distance and b to a distance both are same that is the reason why average speed is equal to 2 s1 s2 by s1 plus s2 now you can substitute the values of s1 and s2 here here, the value of S1 is equal to 30 km per hour and S2 is equal to 20 km per hour. Substitute those values here. 2 into 30 into 20 divided by 30 plus 20, which is equal to, don't multiply all those values, 2 into 30 into 20 divided by 30 plus 20, which is equal to 50. Here you can cancel 0 and 0 and 5 ones are 5, 6. <coughs> now you can multiply these values. 6 into 2 into 2, 6 2 are 12, 12 2 is 24. Therefore, average speed, average speed during up and down journey is equal to 24 kilometer per hour. 24 kilometer per hour. That is the required answer for this question. Let's move on to the next question. See here, an aeroplane travels distances 2500 kilometers, 1200 kilometers and 500 kilometers at a rate of, at a rate is nothing but at a speed of 500 kilometer per hour, 400 kilometer per hour and 250 kilometer per hour respectively respectively in the sense uh, first this is in this case distances are not equal right in this case clearly distances are not equal just by observing the numbers this is d1 this is d2 and this is d3 right here d1 is given as 2500 and d2 is given as 1200 and d3 is given as 500 kilometer and uh, here this D1 which is nothing but 2500 kilometers traveling with a speed of S1 that is 500 kilometer per hour and 1200 kilometers 
1200 kilometers traveling with a speed of uh, 400 kilometer per hour that is s2 and uh, finally 500 kilometers traveling with a speed of 250 kilometer per hour which is considered as uh, s3 here that is the meaning of that uh, respectively word right now the question is uh, find the average speed we need to calculate uh, average speed as we already discussed uh, basically average speed depends on two conditions one is distances are equal <coughs> and the second one is distances are not equal distances are not equal here in the previous problem distances are equal but in this problem distances are not equal in this problem distances are not equal what we have to do in case the distances are not equal if at all the distances are not equal then average speed is equal to total distance by total distance by total time that is the average speed average speed is equal to total distance by total time here total distance total distance is equal to here we have three different distances so total distance means d1 plus d2 plus d3 <coughs> divided by total time total time means uh, time taken to travel d1 distance plus time taken to travel d2 distance and uh, time taken to travel d3 distance uh, that will gives you the total time first uh, as we know that d1 d2 d3 values directly and uh, we don't know the values of t1, t2, t3. So, first we will calculate the values of t1, t2 and uh, t3, right? Here, t1 is equal to d1 by s1. t2 is equal to d2 by s2. And uh, t3 is equal to d3 by s3. Substitute all the values here. Here we got d1 is equal to Five double zero divided by S1 is given as what is the value of S1? 500. Substitute that value. Here you will get uh, T1 is equal to directly two zeros, two zeros cancel 25 by 5, which is equal to 5 hours. Uh, T1 is equal to 5 hours. And uh, T2 is equal to D2 by S2. The value of D2 is 1200 kilometers divided by S2. What is the value of S2? 400. 1200 divided by 400, which is equal to, here it is uh, 3 times cancel. Therefore, T2 is equal to 3 hours. T2 is equal to 3 hours. Here, if you observe carefully, the distance are given in terms of kilometers and uh, speed is given in terms of kilometer per hour. So, obviously, you will get time period in terms of uh, hours. And next, finally, T3. T3 is equal to D3 by S3 and the value of D3 is uh, 500 kilometers and that of S3 speed uh, is 250 kilometer per hour. Here if you cancel these two, 250 to 500. Therefore, T3 is equal to 2 hours. Now, substitute all the values in this formula, you will get the average speed. Here, Average speed is equal to total distance. Add all the distances. Here D1 is equal to 2500. Plus D2 is equal to 1200. Plus D3 is equal to 500. Whole divided by T1. 5 plus T2. 3 plus T3. 2. Which is equal to. Here 2500 plus 500. That is 3000. 3000 plus 1200. 4000. 1200 whole divided by 5 plus 3 8 8 plus 2 10 divided by 10 0 0 gets cancelled therefore the average speed is equal to the required average speed is equal to 420 kilometer per hour required average speed is equal to how much 420 kilometer per hour in this way we can solve the problems related to average speed in the last problem we have discussed about uh, the average speed if distances are equal. 
if the distance are equal then you can directly go through this formula that is 2s1 s2 by s1 plus s2 in case the distance are not equal you have to solve the problem by taking average speed is equal to total distance by total time that's all about this session guys i hope you enjoy the session thank you thank you very much for watching